So here we have a system of equations and we have fractions. These equations are loaded with fractions and we don't want to have to do algebra with fractions. That really complicates things. So we're going to start out with a procedure known as fraction busting. Okay, how does this work? Well, let's get rid of everything, just the equations. Fraction busting, what we do is we look at the denominators. For example, here we have denominators of six and four. We find the least common multiple of those numbers. The least common multiple of six and four is 12. And so I'm just gonna multiply every term in that first equation by 12. 12 times five, six x, divide first, 12 over six is two, two times five x is 10 x. Plus a quarter y times 12, well a quarter of 12 is three, so that's three y equals a quarter of 12, which is three. Very good, that's the first equation. Second equation, the least common multiple of three, six, and two is six. So we're just gonna multiply everything by six. One third of six is two, so that's two x, minus one six y, well six times one six is one, so that's just one times y, or y, equals five halves times six. Well, divide first, six divided by two is three, three times five is 15. That's the other equation. Now remember, we want to solve for x, and so we could eliminate y, that would be very useful. We have a positive three y in the left equation and a negative y in the other equation. Well, in that other equation, we could take this equation, we could multiply everything by three. Then we'd get six x minus three y equals 45. Well, now we have a plus three y and a minus three y. We can just line these equations up and add them together. And the three y and the negative three y cancel, we get 16 x equals 48. Divide by 16, we get x equals three. Go to the answers, c, x equals three.